Welcome to the instructional video on Annual Crop Harvested Production Report, or HPR. In this demonstration, you will see how you, as an AFSC client, can view and enter your annual crop harvested production information for the current crop year in AFSC Connect. You will be able to enter annual crop HPR details in AFSC Connect from August 15th to the November 15th deadline every year. And after the November 15th deadline, you can enter HPR details until December 31st with a penalty. To make it easier for you, your HPR information can be entered and saved as you finish harvesting each field, as you can access AFSC Connect from your mobile device. Go to the AFSC website at afsc.ca. Once the website has opened, click on the Login tab. If you already have created an online account with AFSC, click on Log In to AFSC Connect. Type in your username and click Continue. Enter your password and click on Enter. When you log in, you will see the home page. Click on the My Insurance box to see your insurance subscriptions. A list of your insurance subscriptions will be displayed. To enter harvested production information, click on Enter Harvested Production Report. The harvested production report will open. There are three questions at the top which will need to be answered. The first question is regarding carryover inventory. If you answer yes to this question, enter the amount of carryover inventory for that crop and select the appropriate unit of measure from the drop-down list. Only the crops seeded that are insured will be listed in the carryover inventory box. You can hide this box by clicking on the minus sign beside carryover inventory. The next question is regarding an advance payment. Click on the information icon to receive some additional information. Click close to close the information box. Click yes or no to answer the question. The third question is with regards to volunteer grain in your insured crops. Again, answer yes or no. Now begin entering your production information by crop. Start by selecting the unit of measure, either kilograms, bushels, tons, or pounds. A list of all land locations where this crop type was seeded will appear on the left side. Click in the reported acres box and enter the number of acres. Now tell us what you did with the reported acres by clicking on the drop down arrow and making a selection from the list. You can enter the yield per acre, which will automatically fill in the harvested production amount, or you can enter the total harvested production and it will automatically fill in the yield per acre. If some of the acres on this land location were used differently, you would click on Add New Row and complete the information for those acres. You can remove an added row by clicking on the trash can icon on the right. Once the harvested production information is complete, you will need to advise how much of the production is stored, fed, or sold or delivered. To do this, click in the appropriate box. Enter the amount of harvested production for that crop that is stored. The unit of measure will be the same as you selected above. Enter the bushel weight and the dockage. Indicate if the crop was mechanically heat dried by selecting either yes or no from the drop down list. If you click on the information icon, you will see further information. Then select the appropriate grade of the crop from the drop down list. If you have different weights or if some of the crop was dried or the grade was different, click on add new row and enter the amount of crop with different information. You can remove a row by clicking on the trash can icon on the right. If you have fed some of this year's production, record the amount of the crop that was fed in the fed box. If some of the crop that was fed had different weight, was dried, or the grade was different, click on add new row and enter the amount of crop fed with different information. If some of this year's production was already sold or delivered, record the amount in the Sold Delivered box. You are able to change the unit of measure in the Sold Delivered section to match the elevator's unit of measure. Once the unit of measure is selected, a conversion factor is displayed. 
enter the unit sold. Select from the drop-down list whether the sold crop was mechanically heat-dried. Select the grade of the crop from the drop-down list. If some of the crop were dried or the grade was different, click on Add New Row and enter the amount of crop with different information. You will see the total amount of the crop will be displayed in each of the sections and then totaled at the bottom. The total number should equal the total production reported above. You must enter the date harvest was completed for this crop. To do this, click in the box and from the calendar that appears, select the appropriate date. This date cannot be in the future. There is a comment box at the bottom where you can enter any information about your harvested crops that you think AFSC should be made aware of. Complete the harvested production information for the other crop types in the same manner by clicking on the plus icon to open up the crop type. Once all harvested production is entered for all crops listed, click Validate and Review at the top of the page. The system will run a number of validations to ensure all mandatory fields are completed. You may receive a pop-up listing errors and warnings. You must correct errors in order to submit, although you can submit with a warning. You will see in this example there is one error and one warning. Errors appear in red and warnings appear in orange. To fix errors and warnings, click on Correct Errors. If you have no errors but have a warning, you will receive a pop-up advising you have warnings. You can choose to review the warnings or you can click Proceed to Summary to continue. As mentioned, you can submit with a warning. To correct errors or warnings, scroll to the top of your screen to review where your errors and warnings are. In this example, you will see the carryover inventory question was answered yes, but there was not an amount entered for the carryover inventory. Because this is an error, this amount must be entered. Scroll down to locate the next error or warning. In this example, the total production does not match what was reported in the stored, sold, or fed production. You can see in this example there was 6,776 bushels stored and also 6,775 bushels that were sold. Make the necessary corrections and once complete, click on Validate and Review. If there are no errors or warnings, you will be taken to the summary. You are still able to go back and edit by clicking on Edit Report. Once all harvested information is complete, scroll down to the bottom and read the declaration. You must confirm that the above statement is true by checking the box and then click Submit. You will receive a message when your harvested production report has been successfully submitted. You will also receive an email which will look similar to this. The email will contain a confirmation number and some additional information. Click on Return to Subscription Details to close this message. You will see who last updated your HPR and the date and time it was last updated. If you wish to go back to your harvested production report, click on the plus icon. And then click on View Harvested Production Report. This will open your harvested production report. You will see information that your harvested production report has been successfully submitted and if you need to update any information, you will need to contact AFSC. You can also choose to download your harvested production report by clicking on Download Harvested Production Report and then at the bottom left of your screen click on the Submitted HPR. Once displayed, you will be able to print for your records if you wish. That concludes the demonstration on completing your annual crop harvested production report in AFSC Connect. We hope you found this video informative. You can contact AFSC through our website, by telephone, live chat, email, or by visiting any one of our branch office locations.